James Hardy is the man whose body was pulled from the Maumee River yesterday afternoon. Hardy is a former NFL player and Elmhurst High School standout. And News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson starts our team coverage this evening. So what do we know so far about his death? Well, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. How did James Hardy die? How did he end up in the river? The coroner's report today said his cause and manner of death are still under investigation. James Hardy, a name well known in sports around Fort Wayne. After graduating from Elmhurst High School in 2004, he was a wide receiver at IU before being drafted to the Buffalo Bills in 2008. He also played for the Ravens before being released in 2011. Police say Hardy's family reported him missing on May 30th. Yesterday, his body was pulled out of the Maumee River. Around 2.30, police and fire rescue crews were called to the Hosey Dam on a report of a body in the water. Police say a city water filtration plant employee was doing his regular rounds when he saw the body as he walked along the catwalk. Hardy's body was recovered from a log jam and pulled from the water before 5 o'clock last night. Police say it appears Hardy's body had been in the water for some time. In 2014, ESPN reported that Hardy was committed to a mental institution after he had been arrested a few months earlier for attacking three police officers. A judge had ruled he was not mentally competent to stand trial in that case. Again, how Hardy died is still unclear, and it is still under investigation. But this news is personal to a lot of us here at Wayne TV. I remember him coming in and I, on the weekends, and I saw this autographed picture of him hanging at my desk. He came in often to talk with Pat Hoffman for the Highlight Zone. Pat says James was always a little reserved and shy, but he worked very hard to achieve greatness. He wanted to succeed for his family and his son. I remember him even bringing his son with him to the station several times. He was just a baby then. And I have nothing but good memories of James Hardy. I'm sure many around Fort Wayne do too. Remember playing with him, playing against him, or at least watching him play. It's certainly hard to forget an athlete like that. He became a household name, really. He really yeah. did. Okay. Thank you, Alyssa. Well, James Hardy, one of the best athletes that we've seen come through Fort Wayne, really one of the best athletes in the entire state. Yeah, no doubt about it. You don't want to talk about athletes, not only on the football field, but he got it done on the basketball court as well. And here is a look back at one of the best we've ever seen here in the Summit City. Man, it felt so good. It felt so good. I can't even explain how I felt. James Hardy burst onto the football scene August 22, 2003 catching three touchdown passes to lead Elmhurst over number one Dwinger, snapping a 64-game losing streak. But basketball was his first passion. He graduated as the city's all-time leading scorer with 1,823 points and led Elmhurst to the 3A state title game as a junior. It really didn't sink in until I saw how everybody reacted after the game. and I really didn't want to, but I just had to join them. <laughs> I just had to. He finds 82 Hardy. Watch him snatch it out of the air. Woo! Basketball led him to IU, but his six foot six frame made him a rare talent on the football field. It's great for the university, it's great for the program, the fans, and the alumni. Um, it, it's just a wonderful feeling right now, but we're not done yet. He still holds IU records for career receptions, receiving yards, and most touchdown catches in a career. All that in just three seasons as he left Bloomington after his junior year and was selected in the second round by the Buffalo Bills. 41st overall. You're a Buffalo Bill, and how does it feel to be a Buffalo Bill? And it sort of put a smile on my face. As a rookie, the expectations were big for the supersized receiver in Buffalo, and he looked like a star in the making. Mentally, you had to be more prepared since this, these guys are these the best at this level. This grab against the Jaguars on September 14, 2008, was his first NFL touchdown, but his career would be cut short by injuries, and he ended with 10 receptions, 96 yards and a couple of scores. A hamstring injury is the biggest thing that hampered James, but you saw the size, the hands, the athleticism. Uh, were it not for the injuries, he had everything it takes to become an NFL star. We, we've talked about, obviously, the athlete, and he had some problems as well, but I remember interviewing James when he came back to the Summit City and worked at a program to help provide turkeys for families on Thanksgiving. Uh, that wouldn't have been able to afford it otherwise. So yeah, he had some problems. Yeah, he was a great athlete, mm -hmm. but he also came back to his hometown and tried to make uh, his community a better place. A young man who had so much potential to start with and then ran into a little bit of trouble as he was growing up, basically. Yeah, and, and, I, and I echo Alyssa. He came into the studio many times and, and we chatted. And um, at no point in that time would you have thought something like this could have happened to James. It always had that smile, as you've seen in the video, and just seemed like a great guy. Okay, thank you, Glenn.